Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Chain. Family, on this video, accuse number one and accuse number three are still having some challenges that uh, Advocate Baloi and Judge Rata are trying to address them. Even though they are trying to do that, uh, when you look at Advocate Mkomezulu, or rather, let me call him Mr. Mkomezulu, and advocate Mnisi, they seem to be not happy about the advice that is being given to them. I guess number one is complaining about the ID. He says when he was arrested, his ID was taken by the police and it has been kept by the police since then. And it was when he was arrested for another case, not this one. So since then, the ID is with the police. The advice that Advocate uh, Baloy gave to Mr. Mkomezulu was that that's an easy issue. It only needs to be done in writing. They need to put that request in writing. And apparently they spoke about it, but still, Mr. Mkomezulu felt he wanted to bring this matter into this court. Uh, this matter being a matter that was supposed to be dealt with by the two of them, Mr. Uh, Mkomezulu and uh, Advocate Baloyi. So let's hope after this, Mr. Mkomezulu will do that in writing so that accused number one can get um, his ID or maybe a copy, a certified copy of his ID so that his children can be able to use it to apply for, you know, for, for any school fee assistance. Okay, and then we're looking at Advocate Nisi. Advocate Nisi, when you look at this issue of accused number three, of being kept in solitary confinement, even during the time of Judge Maumela. You know, Judge Maumela advised Advocate Defo to say, this issue needs a separate court. One needs to open a case against the a, a correctional service, meaning or the advocate who is defending this accused must help this accused to apply for, a, you know, opening a case against the correctional service. Today, we're listening at Judge Rata saying the same thing, saying open a case against the correctional service. This matter must be brought to court. It is unfair for a person to be kept in isolation for four years. This is not good for his mind. Okay, let's hope this time Advocate Nisi will take this advice and do the right thing for accused number three, or at least advise him to get legal representation as far as that matter is concerned. He promised in this court that he is going to consult with the legal aid board to help with finances so as accused number three can get representation for this other case. Family, let's hope they are able to help him because to be honest, it is not fair. Family, let's watch the clip. Yes, please. So, my Lord, before I proceed, uh, <clears throat> this morning I was approached by accused number one, my yes. client. Actually, before he made a, a, a concern that his ID, identity document has not been given back to him. Then that has been explained and my lord, his concern was that since 2020 he requested his identity document. His identity document? Correct, my lord. His mm. smart card. Now the children are going to university and they want to apply for NESPAS. So there is a need, a requirement for the document to be attached okay, to those applications. Have you asked or visited 
canvas that issue with Mr. Pandoy? I have, but uh, what's, what's his view? Number of times. Oh. Where's the ID? Indeed, my lord, we confirmed that we had discussions and we explained to my colleague, Mr. Mbunizolo, that in section, terms of section 31, I think, of the Criminal mm -hmm. Procedure Act, this ID document forms part of the exhibit mm -hmm. and and, and uh, up until the finalization of the the, uh, the case, it remains um, in the custody of the police unless the court orders otherwise. We explained to him that he should make a written request as indicated by the investigating officer, and that is where the matter is, my lord. Once a written request is submitted by Mr. Mgomezulu, the uh, investigating team will then take it from there. and and, and we, we explained to him that he must set out the reasons why the, uh, the exhibit should be released at, at, at this point in time. May I approach that piece number? Yes, yes. <coughs> May I as well okay. approach yeah, Mr. My instructions further is that this is an exceptional case where the application has already been made to various universities, so they require the document. They require? They require that identity document. Oh, I see. Yeah. And further, he told me that when he was arrested upon taking that uh, identity document, he, wa he was not arrested for this case was arrested for the f matter that has been finalized in Tembisa. <coughs> Mr. Baloui, you say... Yeah. Well, the, the, that evidence is on record as to what happened on the 30th of May, yeah. uh, 2020, when, when accused number one was arrested. It was for the Tembisa case, but that was after the investigating team um, did an analysis mm -hmm. and, and, and profiling of the accused regarding the current case. Uh, so it is part and parcel of the uh, exhibit in the, in the current matter. Are you not able to make a, a copy, a copy of that identity document and then certify it? Yes. Uh, I, I explained to my colleague that we don't foresee that there will be a problem, but obviously a certain procedure has to be followed. Mm -hmm. There must be record kept yeah, of any quite. exhibits that is disposed of. Yeah. And I'm sure if you were to follow that, that procedure, I, I, I don't think there will be any, any, any problem. I think the matter has been raised prematurely, and we say this with the greatest of respect with the court. Um, if, only if we don't reach um, an agreement can this matter then be brought to the attention of the court. But I, I'm sure we'll be able to find each other. On okay, this point. yeah, please. Hey. Mm. Yes. May I approach? Yes, yes, yes. Is it please the court? Mm. Uh, my lord, unfortunately, Mr. Mube instructs me that mm. he it has come to a point where he can no longer take it because he has been in that situation that I explained before mm. the research mm. for four years. Yeah, quite. And now that it is indicated to him that um, unfortunately there is nothing that can be done in the meantime mm. to assist him. Mm. And the only way through which he can be assisted is for him to bring a substantive application mm. before another court to challenge his situation. Yes. He therefore requests, my lord, mm -hmm. that this trial should then stop. Stop? So, yes. It ah. is his request. Those are my instructions. <laughs> that is why he is instructing me. I know there's a political party which wanted to stop. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe, some, maybe, some. <laughs> maybe the word stop uh, is it's, it's, uh, it's another way, but then be, be, be um, that the continuation with this trial be suspended in the circumstances, my lord, to afford him the opportunity to contact his family, 
which he does not know how he's going to do it, to try and find out on his behalf if there's an attorney and an advocate who will be willing to bring that application for him. Because he is saying further, he will not be in a position at a, uh, to, 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 to start to drive or to prosecute that application when he's also concentrating in this case. And most unfortunately as well, my lord, I am also not in a position to assist in that application when I'm also supposed to be concentrating on this case. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I can't be, be, be expected in the afternoon to go <clears throat> and assist in the drafting of papers. Also prepare for the following day to come, cross-examine and listen to, I mean, to analyze testimonies of witnesses and cross-examine them in this case. Oh. It, it, it's, it's, that will further perpetuate the injustices that he is complaining about because then I will have to 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 to, um, to share my 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 concentration. I, I I I fortunately I would not be able to confront two fronts from different angles. I mean uh, to uh, to confront two fronts at a go. That I would not be able to to to, to do. So you are saying this trial must be terminated. Because you don't want to, you have used the word stop. No, so you're saying I think it must the court be terminated. Is, what are no, you saying? No, my lord. What are I, 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 as I said, probably the word stop so, came out in a rather um, uh, 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 unsavory way. Mm. He's basically requesting that he be afforded the opportunity to try and get an attorney and an advocate through his family that is going to assist him. But the unfortunate part is he will not be in a position to do that when he's also attending this court. So that means for him to be able to fight the battle, which is such a mammoth battle that he's supposed to fight, is for this trial to be suspended for, for a while. Long? Suspended for how long? I I've let me tell you, I've never ever hit of a trial which is suspended on those, on those basis. Let me then uh, explain the following. Mm. Probably the court is also for the first time that is meeting a situation where a person is held in, sol in, in solitary confinement for four years. Which yeah, is the yeah, reason but, why but the court you know has Look, not yet uh, heard you know, of such a situation. You, wait, wait. I just went out of my way. No judge will do what I did. Yes. Research the law and come with an SEA decision to, to, to you. And I can tell you, this matter, this has been taken on appeal. Are you aware of that? That was the case. I, I, I know Advocate Mishalala did refer to the case. Yeah, but this it, case at some point. it's been um, taken on appeal to the Constitutional Court. So the Constitutional Court, they don't know when they are going to handle that matter because whatever they do, that case is the, the most relevant. Because it's... It's a binding authority at the moment. That's it, yeah. The circumstances, my lord, of this case, as I had the court trying to elucidate on them, are different in that somebody who is not held in a solitary confinement is requesting for amenities to enable him to study like laptop and all, all those other studying cultures. But here, we are talking of a person who is mentally drained, a person that has been in solitary confinement, who has got no access to television, who has got no access to a radio, who has got access to virtually nothing, no newspaper, no nothing. And he is supposed, or he is expected, to formulate a defense in the no, no. case of such a magnitude. No, that is no. totally unfair. No, no. That is totally unfair. Was, so was, these two cases are totally distinguishable. No, no, no. Are you saying just to draft a, a founding affidavit challenging the conditions under which he's been incarcerated. You need this trial to stop. My Lord, I am only conveying what he is No, no, you are fine. No, no. I, because I maybe, think... maybe he personally intends, because even his funding in respect of this case is done by legal aid. Yeah, he can apply for legal aid again. No problem. I'm not even so sure whether, my Lord, that they will be able to do that. But I will try. I will try. 
I'll try to communicate with them during lunch time. If circumstances permit, I'll bring the answer after lunch time. No, I can tell you now. Ne? Yes. The interest of justice don't allow that request. I can't. In this case, there are four or five accused persons before me. There are the complainants, there are the witnesses, even myself. I can't be sitting on in this case until I die. Maybe my lord, so in, those, maybe are, my lord in those circumstances, because this is a, is a situation so it generates, uh, probably it will be a justification. Now I'm thinking. I'm thinking out of. I'm think. I'm thinking out of the uh, the box. It will be a justification to apply for a separation of trial then, to afford him the opportunity to go and attend whatever that he wants to attend. Meanwhile, the trial, so that to avoid uh, to avoid uh, to prejudice the other accused no, with the no. continuation if of the trial. If you say you want the separation of trial, yes. what happens to the evidence which has been led? I've never heard. It I've never, never heard relevant. of a separation of trial at this late stage. Never. But does the court really understand, my lord? I do. To stay in solitary confinement. I do. That's why. For four years. That's what why, does it do to the mind of a person? That's why I became consent. Yes. I engaged the JP. I engaged the directorate of inspections. And I even went to the law. And. This is not a difficult application, please. It concerns a bill of rights. That's all it concerns. My Lord, it is so. It might not be a difficult application to a person who knows the law. Yeah. But to a person like him, you who, know proba the who you probably, know the law. but I've just indicated, my Lord, that I'm not prepared even with an inch to concentrate in this trial at the same time be involved in a separate substantive application, which so, has got so, to do so, with so, his housing. So then I'm not prepared okay, to fine. do it. And if I'm not prepared to do it, my lord, then he then has got to do it himself. That is where then that, uh, that notion of to draft an affidavit for, 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 for in terms of a person who knows the law might not be a tedious thing, but to a person who knows the law, such as him, it's going to be a very tedious. Yeah, he's thing. going to instruct a lawyer, obviously. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't accede to any of those requests. Let me separation let of me trials. Take instructions, stop the trial. I can't do that. Let me let me take instructions, my yeah, lord. But before I do that, <clears throat> I also wish to bring it to the attention of the court, my mm -hmm. lord, that it also hinders me because instructions that are coming from him at some stage they don't make sense. They, 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 you can see that this is a psychologically impaired instruction. They just don't mm -hmm. make a sense, my lord. It also hinders me a lot, and I'm expected to bring sense to the court. How do I bring sense to the court in circumstances where I'm getting instructions that are psychologically hindered by virtue of the fact that a person has been in custody in, in solitary confinement for four years? I don't think even at Guatemala prison that is still the position, my Thank you. Let me take instructions. Yeah, okay, fine. May I finalize? Yeah, what? My concern, my lord. <clears throat> my lord, uh, my instruction from accused number one is that the state wants to rely on section 31. To, to what? To, to rely to section 31 to keep the document or the exhibit until the finalization of this matter, of which well, that was not the same position with accused number two. Accused number two, when he was arrested, the state took the, his identity document and it was given back to him. So he finds no reason why the state should keep his identity document, because there will be no prejudice if such document is presented. And there's already evidence that has been led regarding the identity of the of the accused that cannot be hampered with. Yeah, Mr. Baloy. My Lord, I, I thought we've reached an um, acceptable arrangement mm -hmm. that my learned friends will knock off an email um, to the state and setting out the reasons for the disposal of the exhibit at this point and that will then consider that and revert to him and that the court will be approached if we, we if we don't reach an agreement and i'm hopeful my lord that we, we should be able to um, 
to reach an to, agreement. To reach an agreement on this point. I, you know what? I'm even, I'm even prepared to make an order to say that uh, your client's identity document is in the custody of the South African police. It's SAP 13 number is this and this and this and this and this. <coughs> and your client's identity documents number is this and this and this and this. I'll make an order to that event. Yes. If you want me to. Yes, but we, we think we might not even um, reach that point. <coughs> I, I, I'm sure we can find each other on Okay, fine. Is that okay, Mr. Mbomezo? That would be fine for me. Yes, sir. Uh, as it please the court, my lord. Mm. Uh, my instructions are that he has been in custody uh, in solitary confinement since 2019. People have come in and went out. People who have re-offended while in prison, they've stepped police and everything. They've stepped other inmates, they went in and went out. Now, apparently, he is told that one of the reasons why he should be kept in solitary confinement is because of this case. Now, his question is some of his colleagues that are also attending, that is also attending with in this case, that is co accused, are not in solitary confinement. So, why should it be him that is in solitary confinement because of this case? when other uh, uh, accused that are also involved in this case are, in solitary, are not in solitary confinement. He still insists that may the court please have passion, mercy and compassion to allow him an opportunity to go and think of a situation or of, a, of an idea on how best could he uh, 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 tackle this situation. Because he says, my lord, he cannot even concentrate here at court. Because each time he comes here, he's got to think about his conditions where he is housed, as to the reason why is this injustice actually being perpetrated. When he lives here, he hardly has got time to think about what has been happening here at court for that day. Because he spends most of his time in solitary confinement thinking about his agonies. He's basically agonizing about his stay there. No, fine, I hear that. You must bring an urgent application. You've got the right to do that. In the, in the meantime, what should then be happening? Because I've got no instructions in the meantime, to, there's nothing, to cross-examine this witness. No, no, in the meantime, this court, there's nothing this court can do because the, <coughs> the Commissioner of Correctional Services has made an order. Am I correct, Mr. Baldwin? Yes, indeed. And, and yeah, we, I mean, we, we try to the best of our yeah. ability to mediate, but it's about separation That's of it, powers. Yeah. So that order must be set aside. Yes, they, they exercise powers in terms of the Correctional Services <coughs> Act. That's it, yeah. And, you it's know, nothing. Nothing this court can there's do. There's much we can do. Okay. Can we just start? Uh, with this, this is the right? message, my lord. The, uh, the court cannot compel me to start, my lord. I'm a creature of instructions. If I don't have instructions to start, I can't start. But this is so, what Mr. Is Mr. 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 Yes. Are you saying if your client says you mustn't start, you're not going to start? No, but my lord, I, I, no, I need to instructions. I cannot act against his instructions. And this is what he's saying. What do I mean? 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 What and I'm very human about this situation. That's why I'm saying they can bring an urgent application against the Correctional Services, the Minister, the Director, and they can even cite the Department of Justice also. May I then request, my Lord, that we have an adjournment. I consult, uh, actually I talk to legal aid and find out if there's something that I can do in respect of this, because basically he is a client. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Baloy. It's, it's seven minutes to 11. Maybe we can then take the short adjournment, the, the, the normal short adjournment until about half past 11. Okay, I'll come back at half past 11. Thank you family for watching this video to the end. Please do not forget to like it before you leave. Subscribe for my channel if you haven't done so yet. I love you very much family. Thank you. Bye.